Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and in this video we're going to talk about text messaging in Windows Phone 7. Let's get to it. Okay, before getting started, it's important to note that this is not final Windows Phone 7 hardware or software. So what I'm going to do now is send this device a text message while the screen is turned off and the device is locked so you can see what that experience is like. Just sent the message now so the phone should be turning on. There it is. We get two different things. We get a little preview of the message, about a one-line preview, and that will go away in a second. And we also get the counter jumping up to one here where it shows a little speech bubble. So let's unlock the device. And we can see that the little live tile for text messaging has giving, is giving us a one readout, saying that there's one new message. And also it's a winky face. The wink face changes to a happy face uh, when you have no new text messages. And it'll turn to a frown face if a long time goes by and you don't have any new messages. Kind of interesting. Or at least that seems to be the behavior of how it works. So let's go into the messaging application. And from here you can see your new message immediately by the orange text. So here Brandon has sent a message and you can see how simple and elegantly the text message application is laid out. We get these speech bubbles that go left to right. It would be nice to see some color differentiation here, but uh, it's very easy to tell who is saying what just by the justification, the left right justification of the speech bubbles. So we can type a message back and say hello. Or of course we can slide out the keyboard if you're using a device with a keyboard and hit the send button. Now there are a few other things you can do from the SMS application, and we'll talk about that in a second. I want to jump back out and you'll see that the, the tile has changed to a smiley face. It's no longer winking. But then if I send one more message, which I'm doing right now, it's going to change to a wink. And there's the wink, and you get a preview at the top. You can actually tap on the notification to jump directly to the SMS that just came through. So let's do that. And here we are. Now from here you have a few options. You can attach an image. So you press the little paper clip and let's go to the camera roll and attach an image. MMS is not working in this particular build of Windows Phone 7. Obviously it's a beta, but if you try to send it, it says can't send message. That's understandable. Uh, some other things you can do, really not that many. You can press these three dots for the application train. You can delete the conversation. And now while in the conversation view of the SMS application, you really can't do that many things except delete a particular conversation. So you can tap and hold and do delete. There's a lot of tap and hold in Windows Phone 7. It really makes a lot of sense to have that extra action available. And all you can do from this screen is add a new message. So you can type somebody's name and it will reference the contacts database so you can easily send uh, to someone that's in your address book. Super easy SMS application. So overall, the SMS experience on Windows Phone 7 is simple, it's clean, and it's very Windows Phone 7-esque, meaning it's got the Metro interface, it works quickly and efficiently, and it makes a lot of sense. The push down notifications from the top make a lot of sense so that your work is not interrupted when you're doing a uh, when you're doing something else on your phone. You can either action on it now or you can choose to come back to it later when you come back to your start screen. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching. That's it for now.